Welcome to this video. Continuation of the former video. Primitives trading paint to paint cave art in their caves? JM, there are indications, evidence, that certain long-distance trade routes existed to acquire materials to paint rock art. Together with mining this seems to me like at least two unexpected and advanced behaviors for Neanderthals and even for Cro-Magnon. Modern humans are not African? Cro-Magnon is recognized as Homo sapiens. Modern humans are not African? Continuation? Modern humans of today in Europe are not Africans because 1. The only group that could have interbred with the Neanderthal would have been Cro-Magnon, and not us, the by ourselves supposed or self-declared modern humans, and the Cro-Magnon did not and had not even a realistic window to have done that. Hard proof of absence of interbreeding with Neanderthals etc. Why DNA haplogroup are today dominates Europe and Western Eurasia, making them the modern humans, and finish turning over Western Europe, possibly also Europe and Western Eurasia, only roughly 4,000 years ago, could be even more recent in the case of Ireland and possibly several other countries. There had been no chance to have interbred with Neanderthals, and still they carry their DNA. This is a neglected hard proof that the supposed Neanderthal DNA is not obtained by interbreeding, they arrived out of the blue from the Americas, already carrying what they carry till today. This information comes from fossils from immediately as, or after, they arrived. There is no doubt they arrived with it. Since their root and their cradles lie in the Americas the supposed Neanderthal fraction has nothing to do with the Neanderthal that were and already were extinct since thousands and tens of thousands of years. Further it is kind of a proof that the supposed Neanderthal fraction came also recently, after the extinction of the Neanderthals, from the Americas. Most probably Cro-Magnon overturned, turned over or replaced, the Neanderthal, possibly even cannibalized them on occasions, El Cidron, Spain, had a hostile or like slave driver relation to them. Even if they had interbred it would not have had any result, because Cro-Magnon lived only a short period after which they were overturned themselves and this by us, supposed modern humans. Even between modern humans and Cro-Magnon, both supposed to be Homo sapiens, there is no evidence of, significant, interbreeding. Cro-Magnon are considered physically modern but not genetically modern, but nevertheless Homo sapiens. In my opinion they are both hard hybrids. As long as the proofs of not interbreeding and lack of proof of interbreeding, consensus should admit this themselves, are not reversed, they are hard hybrids as many if not most of the best well-known waves. There are indications of them to have been, hard, hybrids, once more, based on morphology, which is paradigmatic by itself because interbreeding is not plausible, needed to support consensus. In my hypothesis they are nothing more or less than a different hybrid from another wave both from the Americas through the North Atlantic route, in the case of Europe. Also called early Homo sapiens sites, Cro-Magnon, are on the main routes out of America and similar to the expanded Austronesian expansion routes. Consensus calls what I call Austronesian expansion routes like Austronesian expansion area, possibly to not, wrongly in their eyes, insinuate something dynamic or key. The Austronesian expansion runs from the Americas to Africa and behind, and it is difficult to not call that a root or something potential key. Further Cro-Magnon is C and C is Amerindian, you can follow C on the map to the right and see that confirmed in the map to the left, other videos go into detail. Cro-Magnon and C are clearly linked to what is called Homo sapiens, which is supposed to come out of Africa. Further the Austronesian expansion is at the time of the by consensus supposed out of Africa expansion, Homo sapiens. Out of Africa also is nothing more or less than an expansion, a supposed one. In fact these expansions are hypotheses. In my opinion the Austronesian expansion has many proofs including by means of the proper ancestral markers. Out of Africa is not proven and the Austronesian expansion is not recognized as expansion and as important and or related to Homo sapiens and consequently us modern humans. Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal. 2. The Cro-Magnon did not interbred with the Neanderthals, there was no offspring and there were no interbreeding markers in the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal offspring, and obviously there was no, significant, offspring from the Neanderthals, simply they went extinct when, soon after or even before the Cro-Magnon appeared. I have read about interacting between the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal. I hypothesize that interacting indicates they are after, or working in, the same places, not necessarily together. We already saw that Neanderthals were after the mines. I claimed before that Neanderthals were in some kind of forced mining and labor, possibly the Cro-Magnon were in forced labor as well or they fought with Neanderthal forcing them into forced mining and labor. 
I also read about interbreeding, but from my publication research I understood that there was no interbreeding and if there had been, it would be insignificant, and otherwise, eventual offspring would be extinct because of three. Three, instead it was the Cro-Magnon group that made the Neanderthals extinct. Four, whatever would be left of Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon would be extinct, or turned over, by the later arrival of haplogroup R1b that came from the Americas, simply because the Y-DNA haplogroup R had its root in the Americas. On top of this, there are indications that Y-DNA haplogroup R1b and its descendants came from the Americas through the North Atlantic gyre, and that is also the reason they landed on the Atlantic facade, to next move east and land inwards to turn over Europe and western Eurasia, while also Y-DNA haplogroup R1 a closed in from the east and Siberia, OB in Yenisei watersheds and connecting rivers. 5. And if all that had not been true, the Cro-Magnon themselves also came from the Americas because they are haplogroup C and haplogroup C is associated with the Amerindian haplogroup Q, consensus associated haplogroup C with Africa, but has no evidence or proof, and is typical for the Austronesian expansion in that same period and that typically comes from the Americas, including Hawaii and Easter Island, and goes in the direction of Africa and behind Africa on one side, Pacific, and from the Americas to Europe and Africa on the other side, Atlantic. We know that someone was more advanced than consensus admits. The objective of the Cro-Magnon for migrating to the mines was mining, the probability of them all ending up in mines without being related to mining is zero. The Cro-Magnon that according to consensus are out of Africans are out of Americas, I argue later and I of course I mention the obvious ancestral markers. So they crossed sea and or ocean weather that would be to Europe or from Africa, consensus, but also several routes amongst others Austronesian expansion routes, and or from the Americas, Austronesian routes that include gyre or Atlantic gyres independent of Austronesian expansion routes. We need to see our past less static and less as isolated groups that did not interact other than the often supposed interbreeding, we need to keep, also, on the outlook for hierarchy. After all, they are miners etc., also other specializations, and are not primitive, are not at all just hunter-gatherers that have no family and cultural structures. If they were hunter-gatherers why would we find them in almost 100% of the cases in mines? First of all, most probably there is an incoming dominant group that needs or organizes, manages the mining, and next there are the laborers, at least one class. To be continued. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.